As the world gears up to celebrate World Backup Day on March 31st, it's time to ensure that your valuable data remains safe and secure. So, let's find out which are the best 5 backup methods and analyze their pros and cons. Remember, backing up your data on a regular basis is critical in today's digital world. No one wants to lose their valuable pictures or music files, and when it comes to business, you might face legal conflicts or even go out of business. When such situations happen, they are bad every time. But what can you do? To avoid all that, or at least take some measurements against it, keep backing up your data and store your backups safe from internet or natural disasters. We are going to explain all that process during the video. So hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge like. We are about to show you 5 ways to keep your data safe. And to do that, you are going to need some software. For today's video, we have a special offer by AOMI. They are giving away software to back up or restore anything for free, including one year activation license, and we are very excited about it. Software like Backupper, or Cyber Backup and Phone Tool, is given away for free for one year. So, check out the link in the video description and grab your copies today. Now without any more delays, let's examine the 5 best backup methods. Epigrammatically the best backup methods are Cloud Backup Backup to an external drive Backup to a NAS. Regular system backup. And finally the incremental backup. Cloud backup offers convenient and reliable storage for your data. By uploading your files to the cloud, you can access them from anywhere and ensure they're protected even if your device is lost or damaged. It offers great accessibility. You can access your data from anywhere with an internet connection. And with automatic sync, your files are often automatically synced across devices. One downside is that it requires internet connectivity for data access and uploads. Take subscription costs into consideration. Some cloud storage services may require ongoing subscription fees. Number two and most common way is to back up to an external drive. External drives provide a physical backup solution for your data. By regularly backing up your files to an external drive, you create a reliable copy that's separate from your main device, reducing the risk of data loss. You have physical possession and control over your backup. External drives offer high capacity storage options. But, they are vulnerable to damage. External drives can be easily damaged or corrupted, risking data loss. And don't forget that accessing the data is restricted to devices connected to the external drive. One tip that I can provide for this method, just from experience, is when you use an external hard drive for backup, it's better to have two external hard drives and keep them identical in terms of what data you store on them. This way, you minimize even more the possibility of losing your data. Number three on our list, is making use of a network attached storage, or NAS for short. These devices offer centralized storage and backup solutions for homes and businesses. By connecting multiple devices to a network storage system, you can easily back up and access your data across various devices. It provides centralized storage accessible by multiple devices on a network. Some NAS systems offer redundancy features for added data protection. On the con side, these devices can have a higher upfront cost compared to other solutions. And also, they require technical knowledge for setup and maintenance. Hit that subscribe button as we move to the next one on our list, which is the regular system backup method. Regular system backups are essential for protecting your entire system, including operating system files and settings. By scheduling automatic backups, you can ensure that your system is always up to date and recoverable in case of hardware failure or system corruption. You can back up the entire system, including operating system files. You can also enable quick restoration of the entire system, in case of failure. Keep in mind that this backup process may slow down your system performance during operation. Another thing is that it requires significant storage space, especially for full system backups. And last one for today is making use of incremental backups. Incremental backups save time and storage space by only backing up changes made since the last backup. By capturing only the modified or new files, incremental backups provide an efficient way to keep your backups updated without duplicating existing data. This method can use the backup storage more efficiently as it only backs up changes made since the last backup. Incremental backups are generally quicker than full backups. But when it comes to recovery, it may require multiple incremental backups to restore a system to a specific point in time. It also requires regular monitoring and management, just to ensure integrity. 
Which backup method do you find easier and more effective? Let us know in the comments below. This World Backup Day, take the necessary steps to safeguard your data with these top backup methods. Remember, backups are not just a precaution but a necessity in today's digital world. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and have a happy World Backup Day on March 31st. See you soon.